Welcome to the past, the present, and the future bridge. I want to first give God the honor and say thank you, Lord, for choosing us to begin this journey of racial reconciliation. Thank you to Makai, who decided to take a leap of faith with his friends and make that journey walk in Antioch. Thank you to all of my board of directors, staff, volunteers, friends, and family. Thank you for your support. Thank you to the community. For those of you who've come alongside of Bridge to help encourage and inspire us. So come along this journey with us to the past, present, and the future of Bridge as we go ahead and see the great things in store. Hi, my name is Sabrina Perrin. I am the CEO of Bridge. Bridge stands for building relationships in different generations every day. I'm going to have you to come along with us as we journey from the past to the present to the future of Bridge. Bridge is a place where we're building relationships. After the murder of George Floyd, our 17-year-old son knew he wanted to do something. It was in that moment he felt, should he go back to his hometown of Evanston and march along with those who were protesting? But I said, why don't you do something where you are here in Lake County? And what he decided to do was amazing, was beyond what I could have thought. It was after the murder of George Ford, about three to four days later, our son contacted the mayor of Antioch. He contacted the police of Antioch, and they began to give calls. And the first thing I'm like, what's going on? They said, your son want to do a peaceful protest, and we want to make sure everything go well. Well, our son only thought it was going to be about 50 people. But do you know on that day was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of peaceful protesters walking alongside. Then we began to, Bridge began to go ahead and have, what's next, the way forward. We had meaningful conversations at LaPorta Park and Lake Villa. We also had the way, uh, not only the way forward, but what does the phrase Black Lives Matters mean? We began to continue on the meaningful conversations. We knew Bridge was growing and it was going to be a place where people needed to turn in and have meaningful conversation around racial reconciliation. We've had many more things. We begin our Juneteenth celebration. We're going on three years now, this June 18th and 19th of 22. We're going to be celebrating. They're so excited and they will be able to have more information forthcoming. But from then, we also have financial freedom. We believe the systemic issues raised from not having an even balance amongst everyone, and especially those of African Americans and other minorities. So we believe it was our responsibility to continue the conversation and to move forward and make things become a little bit more even. So we're so excited. There have been so many things we've also had tax help where well, we had a tax uh, preparer prepare, come in and talk to us about our taxes we're getting ready for a conversation around oh yes i am my hair we have a lot of things going on uh leaving your house in peace and order home buyers uh seminars higher education and career we have so much planned and we've done a lot already if you want to see what we've already done, I'll leave you with our um, our website. You can go and follow us at www.bridgelakecounty2020.com or you can follow us on Facebook at Bridge or you can even email us at bridgelakecounty at gmail.com. So that is that was the past. Now let me walk you into the, uh, the present of where we are today. This beautiful place is a beautiful place that a friend of ours said, I have something for you. So come on, let's go on the journey so you can see where we are currently. Come look around to this beautiful place. We are in the prime location of where we're gonna be able to continue to serve people. I knew it was important that yes, we're having all these meaningful conversations, but we also want to be a resource for people. So come along, I knew that I needed a place so I could be more creative, so I could be able to be more, have more vision for the future of Bridge, only by the power and the help of our Father. So come on along to our gifted office that we currently have. To 
our office space. This is a waiting area that is currently for anyone um, that can come and sit as they might be waiting to have something or going to see me. But this is the office that was gifted to us. Are you still following us? I talked to you about the past, but this is the door to the present. And we are so excited about it. Come along. Here we are. If you could pan around and look at this wonderful, amazing space that was given to us, we are so grateful, 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 grateful for this opportunity and space. Here's the area where I choose where we come and, and I just do more work, more vision, more help. If you can take a look at this right here, we're just beginning and I'm so excited. This is where we can create and begin to think of things that's going to benefit our community, how we can help, and how we can further the work in the kingdom of God, as well as in the community. For everyone, we are still focusing on racial reconciliation, but more important, building those meaningful relationships in different generations every day. I think we all have an opportunity. So this is where we are today, and we're so excited about that. But it, it doesn't stop here. God had a bigger plan and vision than I could ever think about. I want to take you to the future of Bridge, and I want to share with you how we can use your help and how we're going to need you to help us continue on. Come along to the future of Bridge. But our new place is right next door. We're so glad about it. Come along. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to see the future of Bridge? And this is only a small step to it, but there's so, so much more. And we are so excited and we need your help. Coming into the end. As you're entering in, you can see how beautiful. This is the corridor of our new place. Oh my goodness, it is mind blowing. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk that from a protest in 2020 would lead us here in 2022. Only God could have done this. And we are so amazing. As you enter into this beautiful space, this is going to be a space that's in the making. And you see the beautiful corridor. And when you enter in, you're going to be greeted with a beautiful volunteer reception uh, or a receptionist or anyone here that's going to meet and greet the community, and we focus in, our number one importance is respect, love, unity, and community. We want to make sure those who come in needing our services feel the love, feel the respect, and feel the honor just to be able to serve. On this wall, this wall here is going to be blue, and we have someone that's gifted free painting for us uh, and free calligraphy. We are so excited about it. When that person comes, we'll be more than happy to bring you along as she continues to use the work that God has given her. But there's going to be calligraphy here, a blue wall with calligraphy that says building relationships in different generations every day. We are so excited about it. Then come on, continue. Uh, there's a reception desk, and here it's going to be where people could come and be seated as they're waiting to get what they need. Turn around for me, if you will. Imagine this wall. This is a nice wall. Here we plan to put a bridge, a bridge here to represent who we are. And guess where you could come in here? For those of you who are $1,000 donors or more, we will put your name on the bridge to showcase how you help us connect the community with one another. Can you imagine a beautiful bridge with your name on here? Go ahead and envision that. On this wall over here as you come in, we're going to go ahead and if you can take a look down here, we're going to plan to put pictures of everything that Bridge has already done. Oh, can you just catch the vision with me? Oh, just come along. So I've already shown you the reception area. Here is the bathroom. All of this is in the making. It will be clean, but this is a bathroom. We're gonna make sure it's nice, clean, and fresh, but it's so great we have an on-site bathroom for our community. How wonderful that is. This is where we're getting ready to enter into more of the good stuff. Come along, come on in. Originally, this room was just gonna be for the items, but we decided to make this room a little different to multi-purpose. It's gonna serve several purposes. Here is where we'll also be able to have someone in here to meet and greet 
uh, the individuals as they come and get their intake. As understanding the better needs we can offer to the community, we'll have product in here. We're looking to have shelving. This one also is going to be very important for training, for classes, for education around various topics of which I mentioned to you before. So we're so excited when people enter in, they'll be able to see affirmations, confirmations to remind them who they are. Nothing more important than being greeted and understanding who you are with love and respect. And this is our last room that we're so excited about. Come along. Can you envision this room? Here we're gonna to begin to have, uh, this is the room where all of the products is gonna be stored. Take a look, pan around. We're looking to get, this is what we need from you. We are looking to get chairs. We're hoping that someone would donate desks. We're looking for people to donate shelving units. We're hoping that you could partner with us in so many ways. Finances, we need finances. We're hoping to have the minimum of $10,000. But can't you imagine all of the wonderful things that's going to take place here? Are you excited about this? Can't you see this room being filled? Come around, pan around. This room being filled with toiletries, soap, uh, pampers, things you can't get on your regular EBT card, your link card, things that you might be struggling with, book bag giveaway. We've done a book bag giveaway. Can't you imagine? So we're hoping that you could come on the journey with us. As I told you the past, as we told you the present, and this is the future bridge. I'm gonna give you one more look around. Come along. I have one more place to show you. Come on. And this is the other part I want to show you, part of the real estate. You see this area here? Amazing. Here we can have barbecues. We can have conversations out here and just beautiful space. They already have grills and uh, underneath that little, uh, there's, a ta there's a table underneath there and everything just beautiful and look at all of this beautiful and amazing parking this is prime real estate for what we're trying to accomplish in the right community and neighborhood so we are so excited to show you this look at all of this amazing real estate houses down here and everything so we are so 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 excited i hope that you were able to see the vision of our future bridge we are so excited that you took the time to look at what we have done, what we're doing, and what we're going to do. You can be a part of our future. We need people like you to be a part of our future, to continue to serve the community. One of the things that I learned while studying uh, nonprofit management at North Park University, I learned that people don't give to businesses. No, no, no. People give to people to help people. I hope that you will make a decision in your heart to donate. No donations are too small. By your talent, treasures, and resources, we definitely need your help. Thank you for watching. Again, welcome to Bridge. Building relationships in different generations every day. God bless you. Bye.